Okay, so the app that I found is uh, Polar Scope Align Pro. It's $2.99 and it's worth every penny. There is a free version. The, uh, the Pro version does a few more things which are, are pretty nice. I chose to upgrade to the Pro version uh, really just for one, uh, for one feature which is the zoom view. So just as an overview of the app, it'll give you the date, time, latitude, longitude. Um, all of that is based on either you know, a Wi-Fi signal, cellular signal, or uh, you can uh, force a GPS signal. If you click on location here, uh, down at the bottom, you can force the GPS if the other stuff isn't working for you. Um, if you take it off of auto location, you can even type in your latitude and longitude. The feature that I'm most excited about is just this little magnifying glass up toward the upper right. If you tap on that, it'll zoom right in to where you need to place Polaris on the ring. It also gives you the, the numbers. In this case, the uh, looks like the radius is 38.9. The hour angle is 0 and uh, 56.8 minutes, um, but it shows you in a picture where you need to be. You can uh, pinch and zoom, so if you want to zoom out in, it makes it very easy. One thing that I noticed is if you put it at a particular zoom level, like let's say there, and then come off the magnifier, the next time you do the magnifier, it goes back to where you left it. Uh, the app has quite a few other features. Uh, dimmer, in case it's too bright for you. Uh, this is the weather report. This is a red light. And if you want to annoy your friends, you can turn on a white light. Come off of that. So there's several other things you can set. Um, the other mounts that this, is, uh, that this works for are all listed here. This would be the Vixen, Takahashi, and so on. Let's leave that on Ioptron. I'll expand that. Uh, field of view, calculators and such. This is the DSO catalog or database. This is just your standard bubble level, so if you need to, you know, want to get a level tripod, you can uh, you put this on top of your tripod. There's another kind of interesting feature here. This is called the Daytime No Polar Scope Alignment Routine. And what this does, if you click on the little uh, button up here, it will walk you through the process. But what you do is, using your iPad or your iPhone, you figure out some way to attach it to your mount. And then what it does is instead of the bubble indicating level, the bubble will indicate whether your altitude and azimuth are correct. So you see here it looks like the bubble is just slightly to the right. So you can just use the, uh, the mount and the uh, azimuth knobs to uh, physically move the mount and it would change the, the bubble level. Looks like there's a couple of different ways people have used to attach this to their mounts. But it explains the whole process here. I think I'm going to try that in the daytime, maybe at sunset, and then uh, kind of double check that, you know, obviously with the uh, polar alignment at night and then a, a drift align and see just how accurate that method is. Seems like if there's some uh, slack or play in the system, it might throw it off. So anyway, that's a basic overview, but uh, very, very easy way to uh, polar align your scope. And I think, uh, like I said, that's the, that's the best feature right there, being able to zoom in and see exactly where you need to put Polaris on the ring. So I hope you enjoyed the video and happy observing. Okay, so what I want to show you here is the uh, Polar Scope Align Pro app that I uh, did a little bit of a review on yesterday. I've set the telescope up on the tri or the telescope mount rather up on the tripe here, and uh, I've got it almost north and uh, almost uh, the right altitude for where where I need to be. Okay, so for the Polar Scope Align Pro app, you just open it up, it comes to the normal screen, and then uh, the little sun button down here or the sun icon down here at the bottom, you tap that and it will give you the daytime or no polar scope alignment routine. Um, it's pretty interesting, I, I think. Uh, what it is, it's essentially a bubble level, but instead of being level left, right, up, down, it orients the level so that when you are corrected to north and the uh, particular latitude that you need to be at for the, to get it polar aligned, it'll move the crosshairs and the bubble right into the middle. So I'm pretty close now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, with the, the fine-tuning knobs here. I'm just going to kind of move the mount and you can kind of see the uh, crosshairs moving. I'm going to move it back off 
so it's uh, above and to the left and then as I move the mount it will come over like that and I'll get that pretty close and then I'll just move the latitude and it gets even closer looks like I need to move it just a little bit more to the right Okay, and there it is. So I should be pretty well polar aligned. Just looking at the latitude, I'm about 42 degrees latitude. This is showing 41. That could be because of a, an unlevel mount or uneven floor, something like that. And then uh, I guess there's really no way until Polaris comes up to look through the polar scope to see if that's accurate. But uh, it should get me pretty close. Uh, I just noticed this shows me that my azimuth is 360 degrees, which is due north. And this is showing that my altitude is 43 degrees. There could be a little bit of play in here. I just have it uh, snugged up just tight enough to hold it without dropping through. So this may not be exactly right. See, I can even move that. This may not be exactly uh, correct in the mount itself. Um, so as long as this is sitting perfectly flush and square, then it should work pretty well. Now, I think during the daytime, this is going to get you really close to where Polaris would be in the polar finder scope, and you won't have any trouble at all getting polar aligned. So this is a really cool feature, I think.